That was the responsibilities and roles. So that was all the yeah. authors and everything. And now we actually need to describe the data set. So uh, description and a short abstract of the data material can contain information about the purpose of the study or the characteristics of the data. Uh, all right, so does one just post the abstract from the paper here or should we write something specific? You, well, it's a bit up to you. I mean, if the abstract describes the data accurately, then the abstract should be enough. But mm. if you want to perhaps adapt what's in the abstract, you can also do that yeah, or write your own description. Okay. Oh, we might do that then. Let's take a little pause. It says uh, the aim to identify the thermal index, the best predicts, and here I've got methods, but I'll say data, eight years of meteorological ambulance, meteorological and ambulance transport data uh, from Gothenburg's half marathon used to analyze associations between da 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 da. And that's a really uh, interesting uh, research project. It was quite interesting, actually. Yeah. I was surprised we got a good result just with eight years' data. Oh, we're going to need a Swedish description as well. Look, I'll tell you, <laughs> I'm just going to copy this in here for the moment. Maybe we'll come back to that later on. Yeah. Does the Swedish well, description we... need to be like a, an accurate translation? No, we usually we usually just say uh, refer to the English description or vice versa. Uh, okay. Um, you can always have a rather short and then write for for me and for my phones, yeah. The English version and all that. Oh, okay, catch via it. All right. So now we've translated from from sweet English, Swedish, and back again, and it it looks vaguely um, coherent. So auto data mender for flare details. Se beskrivning. Put it, and uh, for the, the longer data description, we'll, we'll definitely do that because I want to translate yeah. a whole page. A home page for the study. No, I don't think we really had one. Identifiers where the study data description already. Oh, no, okay. So this was this if it was like an external? Well, yeah, yeah, that's earlier. mostly for, for external data, exactly. Language is in English. Are the time periods investigated? Okay. Uh, so we could give like really detailed time periods, but can I just give one time period for the whole study? Yeah, you just could give the years uh, covered. All right, let's see. Well, the first year was 2000 and... Uh, 10 and then the last one was 2017 in this data set. No, there. Okay, oh, that looked good. Ongoing? Oh, I guess it is ongoing. We're hoping it's ongoing. There won't, there won't be any data <laughs> point from coronavirus year though, but never mind. Uh, Will um will the data be updated in the future? Or will oh, the data that's be... a good point. Probably, but maybe not so often. What do you reckon? Because Should we just it, leave it? We could, yeah, we could just leave it to 2017 and then just... Oh, oh I see. All right, so if you or click change, ongoing, that it, last yeah. one disappears. Yeah, disappears. Yeah, no, no, we we'll just do it 2017 then. Okay. Uh, related resource... Another data set, pre-registration, no. Related search data, no. There's nothing already there at SND. Okay, I think we're, I think we're good mm -hmm. for this section then.